If you're the one who hesitates to speak in public or hesitates in public speaking in general, then you have come to the right place. There's no other place better than Toastmasters to improve your social, uh, to improve your communication and your leadership skills. So together, together, the mission of our club is to pro provide a positive and supportive learning experiences. Our members are empowered to uh, to develop uh, communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. On that note, I would like to call the president of this club, Toastmaster Prajuman. Good evening for the city and guests. How are we doing today? Are we excited? Yes. That's the energy I want. We have something special coming up for everyone towards the end of the meeting. Before we start, let's take 30 seconds of silence for hold. Thank you, everyone. Today, I want to talk about one of the most interesting topics that is out there the art of goal setting. Now, in our society, and specifically in Indian society, the art of goal, goal setting is something which is really misunderstood. So, imagine this scenario you have gone to the gym for the first time. And as soon as you enter the gym, the trainer over there, or the trainer who is been assigned to you, tells you to run for 5 kilometers. For five kilometers, and that is the realistic scenario. That particular winner asks you to do 20 push ups. Forget that, forget that, even in a business environment, you go and this is the first day. Your reporting manager has asked you to do a task which is this impossible for you. Yeah. And it is in these tasks where we decide that, okay, this is a big task, I cannot do this. And just before we get started, we feel. So the whole point of goal setting is to find that comfort zone, to find that balance between what? Between being one person better than you are. Between being just one person better than you are, but at the same time, challenging yourself. The middle point of these two areas is where real growth is found and I believe that it is according to this method that we should learn how to do goal setting. Even in Toastmasters, when a member joins our class for the first time, no, we do not ask that particular guest or member to go ahead and give his first time because he's in his first ever meeting. Imagine how would that go? Silence, yes. <laughs> we don't give them roles, ugly roles, so that they get comfortable with the stage. Most dreaded place in Toastmasters. We then give them main roles such as post master, general life evaluation, or table topic master. Finally, when we see that they are ready now, they are ready for the stage, we then give them the opportunity to go ahead with the speech. So that finding that middle point, just outside the comfort zone, just challenging, at the same time, not so challenging that they cannot do it. With that being said, I would now like to divert all of your attention to a special occasion today. Today, we have a birthday. A birthday of one of our members. Today is the birthday of Toastmaster Anwar. Could everyone see? <laughs> Yes, Abdul, would you please come up on stage, tell us who you are, what do you do and how did you come to know about Toastmaster? We would appreciate it if you could open your camera so that we could see you. Do 
Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes, the audible. Uh, yes, actually, uh, the voice was breaking for me, um, so couldn't hear you clearly. Uh, I was saying that could you please like to introduce yourself? What do you do, and how did you come to know about Toastmasters? Okay, um, so. I am a graduate from University of Delhi and I'm currently working with, as a data analyst. Um, I got to know about Toastmasters a long time back, but uh, this was the time wherein I uh, find uh, some time for me to start exploring this community and that's how I ended up in this meeting. I uh, connected with Mr. Prajapati from the team and he helped me join the session. So I look forward to getting introduced to how this system works and yeah, uh, if I would be the right fit in, uh, in things on those lines. Okay, so thank you. Do we have any more guests on the mm -hmm. agency? We have guest Ankush Mahotra. Guest Ankush, could you please like tell us who you are, what do you do, and how did you come to know about those parcels? So, hi everyone. So, uh, my name is Anpush. So, I'm a software developer. And, uh, like, uh, I know about you from the like, previous last previous year uh, from social media. And uh, that's it for me. And to get We do. We are uh, Sudhan Sudhan Devendi. Yes, Sudhan. So, you please like to introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. What do you do? And how did you come to know about those masters? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh... My name is Sudhansu Devedi. I am working uh, into data science and uh, I got to know about Toastmaster in one of my corporate session. So the training was going on and uh, the area where I am lagging behind is kind of expressing myself. So that is what I was searching for and got to know in one of my corporate sessions. Yeah, that is from my end. Thank you, get that. Do we have any more guests? We do. Uh, we have Sanjay Kumar. Sanjay Kumar, could you please like to introduce yourself? What do you do and how did you come to know about those masters? Mr. and Dr. Sam. Yes, we would appreciate it if you could turn on your camera. We would love to see you. It seems that we are having some technical calls. Do we? We are having. We are having some technical calls. We are we okay, we are back. Are we back? No, we are not. No, we are not. <laughs> no, we are not. Let us keep going. Today, we have, towards the end of a meeting, upcoming, the monthly award for the month of June, where I would be giving out the award for the screener of the month, the comrade of the month, the nurturer of the month, the budding nurturer of the month, and the member of the month. I would explain all these awards towards the end. These awards cannot be given to the president, sadly for me, the VBPR, the VBM, and the VK education. With this, I would request the guests to keep their videos on as it makes sure that the speakers are getting good feedback. I would now like to call upon the Toastmaster of the day for this topic. I, me, myself, only oneself. I, me, myself, only oneself, Toastmaster of the day. That's completely a different topic. Why my birthday was never been clapped that day. <laughs> now, moving forward, yesterday I saw a video that Deepak had shared in the group. The best, the world champion of public speaking. 
and I learned a word, indeed. Now, I don't know why it was a coincidence or something, but today's topic of mine is also related to the same word, indeed. Now, what does this mean? It means being proud of oneself, it means owning oneself, and it means not to give up to society about how they judge you. I'm going to example. Let's take it on a metaphorical, at the same time, we can you know, humorous. When the president asked, and more, came on the stage, he was giving his introduction. There was a correspondent of wine saying, Let's imagine that YMC corresponded to symbolize society. And let's think of Anmol as us. And let's also think of the words he was doing to everyone as a message we want to put to our personality. Now, we got to understand this. With every single word flows a chunk of art. I'm going to example. For example, I am a reformer. Now, what is actually a reformer? I believe society should change every day. I do not believe in status quo. I rather believe demolish the status quo. Completely opposite to my belief is a conservative who believes that the traditions, the cultures of a society should be maintained. Then they see how I put forward this thing that I'm just saying. Hello, those masters. As you all know, every day is a new chance to move forward. Every day is a new chance to give an impetus to your personality, to take this personality to the next level and to bring some very immediate developments in us. So if you notice this way of speaking of mine that I've heard that I've just spoken, you will notice one thing. My reformist personality ideology is very nice, reflected in the way I greeted you. It is I went out for development. Therefore, a chunk of your personality is every word. Now to bring forward the battalion of auxiliary players, who will be giving forward different developments in the meeting. Again, I'll be calling for the first, the timer, the act of sooth on the stage, who calls himself having suffering from overeating food. Well, I will join the party, don't worry. Overeating is something even I have restricted to. So let's be on the stage. Thank you, Toastmaster Ritik. Well, as a world eater, time, time, is a, a time is a very important thing for preparing a, preparing a good dish or to, uh, or to finish, it, finish it before any one of the family members come to ask. So, so, uh, so as you, uh, as as in today's uh, today's three segment, the icebreakers will have a, a, a will will need to uh, speak at four to six between four to six minutes. When the four minutes are doing. When the four minutes are up, I will show the green card. When uh, five minutes are up, I will show it. I will show them the yellow. And when the six minutes are done, I will show them the red. Uh, upper and lower uh, lower buffer limit of 30 seconds is there. For speakers, for, uh, green card at uh, green green at five minutes. Uh, green at five minutes. Six at yellow. Uh, yeah, uh, yellow at six minutes, and red uh, and red and red at seven minutes. For and for the table topic for the table topic speakers, there is no uh, lower limit of uh, there is no low lower buffer limit, but there is an upper buffer limit of 30 seconds in which one uh, in which one minute, one uh, green for one minute, one for uh, yellow for one one, uh, one minute and 30 seconds, and a red and red for two minutes. And for the general evaluators, I will show I will show two I will show green at two minutes, uh, two uh, yellow at two and a half minutes. And uh, red at a scene. Oh, and thank you. <laughs> well, you will stop for us. Now, let's go forward 
the language evaluator the teacher english teacher of today's evening let's call tm pravin kumar on the virtual stage hi everyone good evening fellow toast masters and dear guests my name is pravin kumar and i will be playing the role of language evaluator in today's meeting the usage of good english and english grammar is very important while speaking and while writing also because while speaking if you speak good english it would help the audience to understand uh, the idea and the idea which you want to express in a good manner my role as a language evaluator would be to note down the good usage of english language like usage of idioms phrases or some metaphors and i would also be noting the not noting down the not so good usage of english language by the members first i will be introducing the word of the day the word of the day is accolade which means a mark of acknowledgement award or an expression of praise for the example of accolade in the sentence is the movie special effects have drawn accolades from both fans and critics and also i will introduce the idiom of the day which is paint the town red paint the town red which means to celebrate or to have fun in the city the example of this idiom in a sentence is let's paint the town red after the humorous and speech evaluation contest and also further i would like to inform you that the medium of language in the meeting is english if anyone uh, wishes to speak in any other language i would request him or her to uh, translate the word or sentence back into english and this is all from my side and i will be presenting my report in the evaluation segment thank you and back to those first of you thanks for the succinct introduction to your role well i do not know how come the idiom of the day the uh, president everyone is actually conspiring to throw up on most birthday look at the idiom it is talking about celebration look at the president talking about birthday wow well let's now move forward to the monitor of the uh, to let you know we all are haunted by the monitors so we have to call they need to take a breathing exercise they will write your name and sometimes give stars no worry they won't give you stars i hope so bringing up on the on the stage the parliamentarian of the day kana on the come with so i'm going to use the there are going to be some rules which i will try to use as in my what i do to follow so like you have to be like me which is keep your audio on mute <laughs> phone should be silent if you can't just break it <laughs> exit and entry should be only on a clause if you can't wait have a injured leg which i have right now you won't even like to get up so and there's a story that in school i used to not eat anything so, so during the school hours So you are um, expected to do the same. Don't eat for eight hours, and be an atheist and a political. <laughs> so you don't have to. And lastly, keep your video on. Okay. No. I wonder sometimes Parliament can work that does the job for job master. Well, let's move forward to the counter of today's evening. We'll be counting on your uh, side in lots of your speeches. Let's bring on the stage a counter, Rajiv, who is who is a photo star, I guess. Who loves traveling, trying out something new. Good evening, fellow test masters and guests present online. Uh, today I will be playing the role of the R counter. But before I go into R counter, let me ask you: How many of you have seen this speech by President Barack Obama? I mean, former President of the United States. 
How many of you have watched this video? So, so, so most of the time in his speeches, so I was watching while I was preparing for my role yesterday. So I saw one clip that was posted by one of the fellow masters and we got this stage. It was not to point out President Obama, but also to showcase that look during the speech, he has used how many times the word uh, uh, uh. because so in an hour debate, he used two thirty two uh. So can you imagine the president of the uh, United States for the this maiden speech he was using two thirty six times the word user? So today my role is to monitor people who will be using the uh, clutches or the filler word that is R, uh, R, uh, I, I, and other repetitive words which I'll be monitoring and I'll be presenting my report at the end of the day. So my advice for all the fellow postmasters is that whenever they kind of don't have anything to speak, they start using the repetitive word or take the help of R. So my advice will be to pause for a second, pause for a few minutes, second, and then start from there. Thank you. Answer good about her, but surely you were sounding like a COVID spy. Whatsoever, let's move forward for the ones who didn't get the joke. Let's move on forward with the <laughs> listener of today's evening. Listener Shakshi Baru on the stage. She calls herself a overthinker. And no wonder, being a one overthinker myself, I can tell we guys are having a great quality at play about. <laughs> and guests. So we have an exciting topic to talk about today. I, me and myself. Owning oneself. And whenever we talk about this topic, we have to value that we are proceeding towards our goals each and every day. Every day we are learning a skill or we are experiencing something that is enhancing our personality. Not only this, we are bettering our health, some of us are reaching the financial goal to live the dream of their life. Aren't we? We should acknowledge this and also value that we are being an asset to the society. With this, I want to give an example of we being very sincere with what we are doing every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, we are coming over here, presenting our speeches to be a very confident communicator and speaker. But are is communication and speaking the same thing? What do you think? It is a two-way two traffic communication. Yes, that is one thing. But when I was googling about communicating well, I got to know that there are many aspects to it. One of it is a very critical skill, but is highly underrated. Can you name that skill, which is very essential to communicate, but it is the second part is to speak. The first part is that skill. Exactly. So, being such an underrated skill, we are not focusing on it. To check this out, I talked to some of my friends asking, are we good communicators? And they were a little hesitant to say yes. So, I changed the question and said, what do you think is hindering your communication? And then they answered in two things. One, that the thoughts they were having are not delivered impressively and they are not satisfied with how they The second, that they are not getting any work. Both of them have one solution, is to listen, to analyze and observe. As babies, we were not knowing any language. We were just crying and expressing through our expression. But slowly, we developed our mother tongue by analyzing, listening to the people around us, to our parents, and all of it that is happening around us. This helped us in building our mother language, that is Hindi, and we are very fluent in it, right? So as a listener, I would like to urge each one of you to pay very, uh, to pay your attention towards this critical skill for listening. And by the end of the evaluation segment, I will be coming up with a few questions that will be discussed in the speeches of our speakers today. So pay all your energy and nerves towards the speeches. And I'll be coming up with questions and you will be accoladed once you 
answer the, the question that I asked. Back to PM Modi. Now the media boy coming on the stage who painted the town red. Coming on the stage, over sorry, narcissist, self proclaimed, overstful, joke master, and more. Scientific survey of the Modi and scientists of the level for the amazing birthday. I haven't had to talk about that on my birthday. So, speaking of the theme of today, it was me, myself, and I owning myself. So, I should also own myself and talk about my fifth grade. Well, in my fifth grade, there was this thing that used to happen where I think each and every one of you has the medical level, you had this sort of dream. A teacher used to ask you, What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you grow up? So, it was the day of my birthday, and the teacher was asking, what do you want to be when you grow up? To every student. Guess what I would have said? Guess when it came to me? What did I do? Can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me? What do I want to do? What could I have said? I look at it as a question. So I think you're both wrong. That too. <laughs> Let's keep that aside. But what else? Threaten me 
you sometimes you know a person you know sometimes they sort of fight back sometimes some person gives a slam or they sort of verbally fight back you know what I used to do I used to growl at them <laughs> I used to growl at them like a dog and I used to bark too so keep in mind that now I don't do this stuff <laughs> well thank you all that's all for my question While the beginning was all about painting the town red, I want to paint even mount. Well, let's now go forward without any further ado to the speech section. First speaker being Speaker Aviral. But before calling him on the stage, we would love to call the evaluator of CM Aviral, CM Arun Prajapati, the first time evaluator, evaluating the first time. We have a very good team. Uh, this is me, I, me, myself, owning oneself. This is a platform. It, it's, it's all about you. If you feel confident, then everything, the weather is rosy, the weather is good for you outside. And with that, we here we have a winner who is going to tell about himself. And we all are here about feeling confident. So I will be, uh, he will be delivering his uh, level one, project one. It, it will be his uh, icebreaker speech and uh, on the path of visionary communication. And uh, his uh, speech title is Pursuit of Happiness. And I will be his evaluator. So uh, I will uh, present my report in the evaluation segment. Thank you. Now I'm going to say the first time speaker, speaker Aviral, the one who is calls himself and never give a damn person. Let him call. Let's call Arun on the very end. What does happiness mean to you? Well, for someone, it could be a quick reply from their crush or team, their favorite football club winning the championship. And yeah, that someone is of course me. Good evening to the fellow Dose Masters and the guests of the day. My name is Avril, and today I'll be showing you how the definition of happiness has evolved as I've grown up in my life. So let's roll back in the time when I was in this time. At that time, ring the doorbells of my neighbors and then run for life seems as a real form of happiness. And it was way too much fun. As I grew up, I was introduced to the thing named football. And eventually, it became the love of my life. But loving football and having this experience is the worst type of combination to have in your life. Because at the time, because at the time we used to sleep, I was the one who used to shout the top of my voice. And you know, at times they used to never allow me to watch those late night matches. But after begging hours and hours and hours, I somehow used to convince them. And they, when they used to sleep very peacefully, I was the one who used to shout at the top of my voice, swinging my t shirt, dancing the whole house shortly, and making weird noises that way. And the next morning, I used to wait for the newspaper, pasting down favorite pictures of my favorite football Ronaldo, and then staring at that one. At this point of time, this seems the real form of happiness. I was always an average kid at my school, never like those college ones. Somehow got a decent college to study and passed my course year with blind fellows. But did I work hard for it? No. All the answers were stop and still no platter of what's that group, cheating group. No, <laughs> you And then came the third semester. I was chilling at my couch, watching lessons. And at that very moment, I got a mail from my college lecture. After an exam in seven days. At that time, I tried to motivate myself that oh, we have got to do very hard in these, these seven days. But you know what I did in this? I continued watching Netflix and gave you all those six days, and I somehow gave my exam by studying one day. After the exam, I went to my granny's home. And there I had my little brother, who's just seven or eight year old kid, who loves marble. And one day he was just telling me which avenue can lift the thought of. That very time, I got a phone call from my friend. He said, Bro, the results are out. I was like, Okay, hold on, let me check. I logged onto the site and there flashed a big zero in one. 
I'm scared as God to do for about some minutes. That was a clear rating moment. My friend was very curious to know my mom as if I would have talked that at that. By gathering all the courage, I somehow replied in, Bro, I got a video. And my little brother roamed in the whole house by shouting, Oh, my God, what is this? <laughs> he even told the maid who was in the dish. You know that guy who came yesterday, he got a zero. Is it difficult to know that I am out? That day, I was ashamed of my Not because I was getting decent. Because I realized that I never gave my 100% in my life. And I decided that I need to make some significant changes in my life and be very clear towards my academic from then in the fourth semester. I kept that promise to myself and a typical day used to be spending hours and hours in the library, revising my notes in the metro and putting tons of all my things. And here, a big thanks to my mother for providing those days my snacks so that I could study very carefully. And I finally gave my exam very diligently. And after the after five or six days after my exam got over, I was heading back to my college to see the answer sheet. And I was in metro at that time. And I got a notification. Ping, I scrolled it down. It was a message from my friend that said 26.5 due for the I stared at that message longer than I stared at that video. There was a big smile on my face. A drop of tear was slowly rolling down from my eyes. And that day, that very moment, I realized what are the tears of joy. That day, I realized what is the real form of happiness. Real form of happiness is not seeing your favorite footballer winning the Champions League. Real form of happiness is you getting an inch closer towards your dream. Real form of happiness is you conquering each and every day. Lastly, I just want to introduce myself as a simple boy who's in pursuit of all these little Thank you. Opportunity for us 
but we still tend to ignore it or just avoid it. You know why? It's because of fear within ourselves. Now, fear is also of various forms. We have a fear of embarrassment, we have a fear of failure, and maybe a fear of injury. Now, where this this fear stands, this stands here, it stands in our head. Now, this fear, now our brain is the one, one of the biggest enemies and can be our biggest friend as well. The way we use it, and in some case, in many cases, when we are in the front of this situation, our brain used, uh, always gives us this thought. You can't do this. It's beyond the comfort zone. You shouldn't be bothered to do these things. And that's really disheartening that this is how our mind works. So I would suggest we should pounce this comfort zone just like we tried to pump the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the thing. If we get stuck in the comfort zone, that's the place where we stop going. So in return, the risk has so many things to give us in return. Risk helps us to become more courageous person. Risk helps us to make, uh, risk helps us to be more confident. Like if you want to make your life more interesting, if you want to be more extraordinary, just do things which you fear. And I'm not saying just take risks, <laughs> uncalculated risks, like just jump off a cliff without a parachute. I would not say this. that it's not a risk, it's just stupidity. So yeah. yeah, that's the thing. I will tell you a short story of mine that how I conquered my fear of taking risks. Was uh, one year back, my uncle gave me some overview about the stock market. And after he told me about this, I was really fascinated. I was like, this is a thing that I have to do. Then after that, I was the web series Cam 1992. <laughs> <laughs> after watching that, I was like, sure, dude, I'm doing that. Then after that, I go. I went to my father to take the permission to open a DMAT account. And father, you know, <laughs> my father told me that it's just nonsense. It's just gambling. Just focus on your studies. I was like, okay, on his face, I said okay. <laughs> but I'm also sort of seven person. <laughs> then I. Searched on the YouTube that how I can open a demand account. So I got a lot of tutorials on YouTube and I by myself opened my own demand account. <laughs> okay, so after that the account was opened, I put my all the savings in, in the company name from the finance corporation. That was my first investment. And within a week, I made my first earnings. Of 320 rupees, but it was a great start for me. It was like such a great moment for me. It was my first turning. Like I wanted to paint down red. <laughs> it is. So after that, after I made the transaction, I went to my father and I, and I said that I made my first turning. That after saying that, I got an instant regret. That. <laughs> I thought that something was coming towards me, like a slap. <laughs> Either physically or verbally. <laughs> so I told him, but he congratulated me. And he told me, good job, son. And he said he was really proud that his son is so dear. So you see in life, if you take risks, there are only two outcomes. Either you will earn something or you will learn something. If there may, may be times that you will not get what you want, but by taking from that experience, you will you will take that learning and do the right thing and move on. So stop fearing to take risk as Dave Hashan Nasser said, risk has all thank you. I wonder what
would be open to my life or not. It is absolutely similar situation, something I faced when I was in my college. I, I, I don't know why, why you do for father's permission. I never took my father's permission. <laughs> I went with that in my credentials. But. Now, let's move forward to the next speaker, Mr. Bhavanan Jha. Now, we know him as a computer engineer. And before going up to his speech, let's call his evaluator, evaluator Darshan Singh, who's going to be on the virtual stage and giving him his evaluation. Now, CM Darshan Singh. Thank you so much, Mr. Toastmaster. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests, and good evening to Toastmaster Bhavan and Jha in particular. The Toastmaster Bhavan and is going to deliver his level one project two speech from the pathway presentation mastery, and the project objectives are as follows. The purpose of his project is to learn and review the basic methods of writing a perfect speech and define its purpose and making a craft and holding on to that. The speech can be on any topic. Well, I'll present my report in the evaluation segment and I wish Toastmaster Bhavanand all the very best for his speech and eagerly waiting to hear you. Over to you, Mr. Toastmaster. Now we are having DM Bhavan on the stage before I call him on the stage. <laughs> Let's have him on the stage. Thank you, Toastmaster Darshan. Good evening, Toastmaster and guests. You and I came in this world that time. Our mind was pure like lotus flower. Is it not? <laughs> our up, up bringing it started. We grew day by day, and after some time, same the result of never son came. Then parents told me, parents told me, he has got 99% mark in 10th exam. So dear son, are you doing well? So that time, baby mind loaded with expectation of parents. We were growing day by day. Again, another incident uh, happened. After some time, I had the result of never some kid, and he has got admission in IIT. Again, parents told dear sir, he has got admission in IIT. Then what you what you are doing? Are you doing well? Again, uh, mind loaded with uh, some expectation of parents and also fear of not getting that result. Life is life. We were growing day by day. After some time, another incident happened in life. Someone got ill in family. Again, uh, unknowingly, fear came. What we happen, losing of someone, and mental state disturbed. So I want to say, did we come here to be in a fearful state, to be in depressed state? Again, uh, another incident happened. After some time, you get stuck in big problem, and for that problem. You have you had no role. You didn't do anything, but still you stuck in that problem. And you have you you had to face it. You had to face it. So what life want to tell us? Be in fearful state. Be in depressed state. And uh, we are approaching to our death. Is it not? A student uh, go to a school. From 9 to 5, they are racing with the classmates. They are racing for a better mark. They are not in jealous state. Is it not? Imply go to office from 9 to 5 and uh, 
they are struggling for more projects is it not they are they are in uh, they are in tension for salary hike uh, try to please boss and many things many things so is it like go office from 9 to 5 daily and uh, be in fearful state be in depressed state is it like we have come here for this thing take birth and uh, do these rubbish things be in fearful state what will happen be in fearful state be in depressed state and uh, we are approaching to our death and and uh, one day one day <coughs> one day we all have to go from this world so so i want to ask you i want to ask you what is life according to you what is life according to you living in a moment okay and relax and be satisfied with what we have okay be be a thousand ways that are beating up your okay facing your fears and you want to be a thousand ways face okay Like a movie. You have to just observe it. There will be some moments of high, some moments of low. Okay, so here problem is different from person to person. So solution will be also different from person to person. If we think about animal, so animal is more happy than us, is it not? they also eat and sleep we also eat and sleep but they are more happy they are not in tension for eating something for money they are not in tension they are doing same thing but why why human are in tension why human are in depressed state why why is there yes and also we can say is uh, life equal is life has occurred no. no. then do you think we are living in a, we are living a, in the wrong way is it not we are racing we are racing we we want to achieve something we want to achieve something to show someone else because if i will do this thing i will do that thing why you are doing in most cases you want to satisfy other person is it not you are not going inside you are not going inside so here i want to tell you so you will not get solution outside if if you want real solution you have to go inside you have to go inside you have to observe inside what is happening okay and try to accommodate internally not externally when you will learn when you are facing any type of difficulty any problem that will come you can't stop but solution is inside solution is inside thank you i'm going to ask to try sadguru <laughs> okay oh you will pat okay yeah so Life, the moment comes when the apocalypse falls, and we go to move forward in giving our hopes. We had talked from Barack Obama. Let me give you some sense of democracy. Kindly exercise your right of democracy. Give your vote to the best speaker that you feel to be. We had Speaker Abhiral coming on the stage giving his ice breaker, followed by Speaker Raghav Luna giving his ice breaker, and at the end we had uh, Speaker Pawan Chand. So whom do you think was the best speaker? Your vote matters. So again to repeat the sequence of the speakers, it was first uh, speaker Abhir, followed by speaker Raghav Duna, and third speaker being Bhavanand Jha. Your vote matters. Can I give you a vote? Okay. Without any further ado, let's let's give you a review.
of you, sorry, of how the next segment is going to work. Pretty simple. When you are looking into yourself, remember when it's action time and you don't have any preparation. That is impromptu. Your real self comes up to be very honest. Now, being a UPSC aspirant, let me tell you something. There is a paper by the name Ethics in UPSC. Now, in that particular paper, it's told to be the lengthiest paper in whole UPSC. Now, if there is a philosophy behind why it is the lengthiest paper, but the time remains the same, that is three hours. They say when you are at the at your toes, you are using your pen without thinking of any uh, having a back mind or having any preparation. You are just thinking at the moment writing. They say your real self comes out, and that's what UPSC has the ability to check. And to me today, as a person who is handling this particular evening, I would also say being in the moment without any preparation brings out the real self. Ah. Skill which you can actually use to understand how a person is in your life and mend your relationship. Now, all that philosophy, I don't want to be a Sadhguru. Let's bring on in the stairs himself the TDM of the evening, Deepak Dash. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am the favorite topic master for today. And for those of you who don't know anything about favorite topics, let me bring you this joyful event that we have in every meeting of ours. So basically, in the favorite topic round, we give a, a speech title, members and guests to speak on the go. That is, you will be given a topic and you will have to speak on it without preparation. And uh, it's kind of a wide round because you don't know what's going to come out of me. So I get very excited when the table topic happens. And let's go through the timing again for table topic speeches. So a speaker or a guest can speak for either one to two minutes. And there's a question period of 30 seconds after, after two minutes. That is, if you can speak for two and a half minutes, you can still qualify for the best uh, table topic speaker. So this is the round. Anybody has any questions, they can ask me. Any guess? I don't think so. I didn't know I was so clear. <laughs> anyway, so let's begin the round. Okay, so who wants to come first? Who is that again? Okay, you would like to come up. I would love to have you. Okay, come on. So the topic is. I'm happy because my partner just left. Okay. <laughs> 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 Toastmaster Kanab is the topic. I'm happy because my partner just left me. I'm happy because my partner just left me. Toastmaster Kanab. First, it has to come. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> imagine, imagine. I So, I'm happy because I have more time right now. And no more taking care of someone. <laughs> and no useless talks. I'm keeping quiet. My favorite activity. And Why you were sad earlier? Why you were sad earlier? You are happy now. You are happy now. No more quarrels. <laughs> <laughs> no more shopping all day. <laughs> Great. 
much small you would be happy or not, but you got to give yourself an opinion. For you to know <laughs> if you will be happy or not. Okay, let's bring on the next member or guest. Who next? Who next? Come on. Okay. Uh, come on. My amazing is to be the target. Diet. Yes. Oh, that's yes. okay. <laughs> Toastmaster Raghav with the table topic Amazing Tips to Fail a Diet. Amazing Tips to Fail a Diet, Toastmaster Raghav. Thank you. It all started when I was coming to there and I see McDonald's and, and hated McClurry, black oil cream flavor. So, the, one of the first tips is first tip is to fail a diet is to eat as well as you can. And as many times as you can. Like if there is a, how many like Thailand six biscuits? I eat two packets of those daily. <laughs> <laughs> this is reality. <laughs> okay, and this is the first tip. Second tip is when uh, avoid vegetables, especially ghee and tori. Who likes ghee and tori? Okay. <laughs> so, third tip is, uh, is water is not water, no, no water. Drink, drink cold drink, especially Fanta. Even though it has 41 and high sugar, but still it's worth it. It, it tastes good and my favorite color orange. And, uh, and the fourth and the last tip is don't wake up too early. For exercises, why well, spend time on a on a comfortable uh, on a comfortable bed, and then uh, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and a comfortable AC with a comfortable temperature. Why are going uh, running bad like as an animal or a park just to get sweated and and then when you have to wash your own clothes and you get dirty? Why? So these are the tips of uh, feeling your time. Alright. So next we have Gary, Okay, so we have a smart here with table topic. I wish I had that earlier. I wish I had that earlier. Toastmaster Ruger. I wish I had that earlier. It's called vision. Yes. When I was young, I was naive. I didn't know much about the world, about I didn't know much about how to go, go about it. I didn't, didn't know any of any of the words of vision. As I grew older, I came to know how to live a balanced life, how to manage your work and personal life. I learned many things which people term as vision. It's essentially a set of values, a set of principles through which you live your life and judge things. There's a nice old saying, young people may have knowledge, but as one gets older, the aim should be to convert knowledge into vision. So, you should today, I don't have a lot of wisdom, but certainly compared to the version of me five years ago, I, I do have a lot more of it. So if there's something which I wish I had earlier, it's wisdom. That's 
that actually one that's actually something which a lot of people don't realize they should have earlier until later they grow older and into their uh, middle ages and then they get a midlife crisis a lot of people a lot of older people when i was young they used to tell me you know when i was your age if if i had time machine and i could go back when i was your age then i would tell myself something is really good thing so that i could live i could have been living a much much more comfortable life today so uh, i think that that's something which everyone would later on either have or which they had it on that's it and over to you time for some guests okay any guest would like to come would you like to come there
a problem to be fear out or getting this fear it is of course real and i am not denying it sometimes i feel it too but i am glad that i have a platform and i have you guys with whom i can share my fears thank you anyone else from the virtual stage uh hi else? yeah I'm here to dance on the stage. Hi, Sadarshu. Am I audible? Hello. Okay, Hi, Sadarshu. Uh, yeah. So your topic is uh, so your topic is the worst movie you've ever seen, and why was it so? So best of luck. Bye. yeah so uh, i would like to repeat the topic like uh, you are saying the worst movie i have seen ever okay <laughs> okay so i think uh, the movie should have a content without a content uh, if movie are being uh, created so i don't that movie has any point and uh, also for or uh, the customer perspective also uh, you do not see that movie uh there is lot of movies that i have list of the movies in bollywood itself where i found that content is missing they have launched big faces they have launched a uh, big budget movies but the content is something which we were missing over there so couple of movies i would like to name they are like um, Bandhan, that is the worst movie I have ever seen. Apart from that, <laughs> I am not able to recall the names, but I have the list of the <laughs> name of those movies. But the crux of uh, saying uh, or listing down those movies to the content is the main thing. I need a story, a crux, a good story in a movie. Basis that I could judge the movie. Thank you. Well, that was all from me. No, one more uh, topic. One more topic. All topics are from. Oh, sorry. Okay. 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 Drink beer, save water, and this <laughs> 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 is the only way out. Well, with all those insights, I would rather say that this is also another spectrum and a different paradigm of a personality than himself. That we come on the stage and in interest, even very funny, pretty personal, but still we manage to share things, aspects of our life which can actually reflect others, be more relatable. That is most most important one, relatable. Now. i we also know that while having a great life while being in the jungles of machine we should also take some break to rejuvenate ourselves now i know why you are laughing because you have already understood yes we are having a break for 5 minutes we'll be gathering again at 8:00 <laughs>
और साइकिल और घर में दो पावर ओके ओके गॉडी मॉइस Now something we missed before the board, before the break is to have a democratic exercise. We have a talk show, Nora Kuma Wa Hai. How would you not have democratic elections now? So kindly vote for your best table topic speaker who you think is best. Now I'm sorry, uh, I have forgotten the name, but in case uh, the ones who are physical fitness, you can please raise your hand. So who are the ones who have given our table topic? Uh, we have. Thank you for the cooperation. That's a personal trait too, being cooperative. So something also while I am talking about cooperation, I am also telling certain things about personal trait. It is about having conversations with people how you are. For example, like I have a particular way of person. I am a very confident person, as some people say. The reason I was able to decide about personality is because I had a conversation with a lot of people asking them, "How do you think I am?" and please judge me. So sometimes maybe judgments can sound kind of insulting, but why not to transform that I in insult for inspiration? Now, with all that being said, to move forward with a segment. Because we all know that if you want to have a great personality, the most important thing. It's to evaluate. Okay, how am I gonna be the best version of myself tomorrow, better than yesterday? Now, this particular paradigm, this particular flow, needs a evaluation, needs a mentor. It can be anyone. Now, thank God, in Toastmasters, we have someone who will do the job. Now, in case you're wondering who that person is, he is already up on his heels. Oh, sorry. Good evening, masters and dear guests. In the beginning, our president highlighted the importance of goal setting and how important it is to set our goals in realistic manner. How we can do this thing in case of our communication journey? Only when we have idea where to work upon, how to work upon. So just to find out what are these areas, like two teams. First team will focus on the speeches that has been delivered in first session. Three speakers, three evaluators. The second team will focus on the Other aspect that means not specific but general aspect of our communication journey. So let's begin with our first evaluator. Our first evaluator is Coach Master Arun, who is going to evaluate speech delivered by Coach Master Abhinav. What a nice speech that was. It was. Simple boy in the pursuit of happiness. It was mesmerizing. It was well written. It was very confident. And the use of those comic words like "no is no vida" was telling everybody that he got a zero. So that was commendable. If I had a power. I would give a bullet to you on that that icebreaker speech. <clears throat> Initially, I thought uh, the speech was fast and uh, voice modulation was not there. 
but you overcame that and you moderated your voice very clearly so that was commendable and to summarize with the uh, there was a good eye contact your confidence in a your body language was positive you were using the clicks and uh, and we, you can work upon your it, it was a perfectly nice speech so uh, it was near perfect so you can work upon your voice modulation further and uh, effective use of uh, space can be done so that is my recommendation that's it thank you so much sir arun time to welcome our evaluator number 2 Please welcome Dr. Madan Navya. Thank you, Dr. Madan Navya. So, uh, first of all, congratulations to Dr. Madan Raghav for stepping up and giving his ice breaker in just a span of two to three weeks since he has joined the club. So, kudos on that. <laughs> Talking about the speech, so. His speech had a major topic on which his complete speech revolved around. That was risk, and the way he ended the speech was very nice uh, with the sentence that if you take risk, either you earn something or you learn something. So that is something that was really positive at the end of the speech. And talking about the commendation, so the speaker had a natural rhythm while he was delivering the speech. and he had a proper eye contact with all the audience but the one thing that uh, i would say or uh, request uh, to master raghav which he can improve upon is that the purpose of his speech was to introduce himself to the club members so that was something which was missing in his speech because his speech completely revolved around the theme of risk and uh, the purpose was not achieved this was to uh, we 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 wanted to know about him we wanted like uh, he sh- he could have talked about his interest what he uh, some uh, other learning so the risk that the theme was uh, of the speech so he had a learning from this topic but he could have shared some other stories which had uh, some things other than the risk so uh, we would have known more about the speaker and uh, this is the only recommendation that i'd like to give other than uh, talking about uh, the uh, more about the commendation so the speech was very articulate and uh, as i told you the it completely revolved around one thing so that is very positive that you have uh, written a speech in such a structure that uh, completely talking about one thing for uh, uh, four to six minutes is good But you have to achieve the purpose. So, with that, I would like to hand over the stage back to the general evaluator. Thank you, Navya. It's time to welcome our evaluator number three from Virtual State. Please welcome Prasanna Darshan. Thank you so much, Mr. General Evaluator. Well, first of all, congratulations to Toastmaster Bhavan and Jha for fulfilling the speech objectives. So, have a clap for Toastmaster Bhavan. Well, the speaker actually touched a really sensitive topic today about life and what we are doing in the life. We are working, and why we are working? We are running after the marks. and the projects in the office well i actually have a meeting at 9 pm so i am thinking of letting it go because it gives me real depression and anxiety but actually he touched the topic that every one of us are imbued to it life is a race and everyone is running if we do not run fast somebody will definitely crush you and will move forward the speech actually revolved around the thought process which actually everyone is completely imbued into it what are we doing why are we doing we should contemplate on that 
going to school for marks, going to office for the projects, getting ahead in the life, crushing everyone, wanted to become the best in the world. That gives us a sort of depression or the thing which we do not want in a life, anxiety and fearful state and all those situations. Well, kudos to Toastmaster Bhavanan on touching these type of things in the Toastmaster speech. And he was quite confident in using few words, in few phrases or two. Why are we doing this? Are we, are we born to do this? What are we doing here? Why are we doing this? So this was a craft and hold on the vocal variety and using the pitch effectively. So kudos to Toastmaster Bhavanand on using the vocal variety effectively. And the eye contact was quite accurate. I could see he was looking to every member I in every member and he was addressing every member equally and accurately. But there was audience engagement about the questions he asked. And I think every Toastmaster speech has certain areas where you need some improvement. And during the question answer moment where he was asking the questions, the question should have been asked in, a, in an acknowledged and an appropriate manner as to raise your hand. The question should be like, how can you live happy in the life? And you should raise your hand and stand up and answer. The question should have been asked in this manner. And then I was thinking about in the conclusion that he told about the solutions. That there is nothing outside, you have to find it within yourself. So I thought, what is that that we have to find out within ourselves? The, so the solution is within ourselves. The solution could have been it's about the priority. The people do work and people go after the marks and people go after the positions and people go after the projects and the job just because of the priority. Well, every individual have their own, own priority. People push their limits hard and achieve the success in, in their life. So that is happiness for them. We should acknowledge that and we should appreciate their, 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 uh, their efforts and the success they've got. And if you're not comfortable with that, if it is taking away all your mental peace, you should think accordingly. So that is what the takeaway for me too, to contemplate on this. Whether my work or whatever you are doing, if it is giving you mental peace, if it is taking your mental peace away, you should think and contemplate on that. Over and all, the speech was absolutely fabulous. And it was in a natural flow. And the gestures were also very apt. I wish the speaker all the very best for his uh, future speeches and over to Mr. General Evaluator. Thank you so much for the master session. It's time to choose who was the best out of these three. So ballot time, I'm going to choose one out of three. We have three contenders, Toastmaster Arun, Toastmaster Navya and Toastmaster Darshan. By the time we are passing our vote, let's have a report from all of the role players. Please welcome our first of the role player, Toastmaster Rago on the stage. Well, in today's meeting, almost everybody was uh, within the limits of the time, except uh, Toastmaster Darshan, which has a, uh, which whose time was 4 minutes and 17 seconds. So sorry, he is uh, disqualified. So for the speaker, for the speaker, uh, team Arrival uh, spent 4 minutes 30 seconds. Team Raghav Luna spent uh, 6 minutes 12 seconds. And team Bhavanan. Uh, spent uh, 6 minutes and 56 seconds. For the table topic speakers, TM Kanav spent 1 minute and 24 seconds. TM Rajas, which is me, 1 minute and 41 seconds. Uh, TM Rudra, 
टू मिनट वन सेकेंड गैस फेज है फिफ्टी थ्री सेकेंड गैस अंशुमन वन मिनट फोर्टी सेकेंड एंड गैस सुधांशु वन मिनट एंड फोर्टीन सेकेंड इन जनरल एवेलेटर सेगमेंट टी एम अरोन वन मिनट एंड थर्टी सेवन सेकेंड टी एम रवैया टू टू मिनट एंड ट्वेंटी टू सेकेंड एंड टी एम दर्शन Thank you so much. Please welcome our next auxiliary role player, Toastmaster. Let me check the name. He is on virtual stage. Toastmaster Pravi playing language interpreter. Hi everyone. So I will be presenting my report. First, I will know present the good usage of English language, like the good usage of words will like ashamed, opportunity. and good usage of metaphor like either you will earn something or learn something and not so good usage of the language was like in one instance like uh, there was one sentence what life want to tell us it should be spoken as what life wants to tell us and also the word of the day which was accolade it was not used much and the idiom which was the paint the town red like people got really hold of the idiom paint the town red which was used like five to six times and so this is all from my side and in the end i would uh, like to encourage all the speakers to uh, use the word of the day and idiom of the day more in their speeches as this would help in help them in giving their speeches better in a better way and also enrich their own vocabulary okay. thank you and back to the agenda level thank you so much please welcome our next of the role player आर काउंटर तो सर राजीव अंगस्ते सो ट्रस्ट मी दिस इज टुडे इज द मीटिंग वाज वन ऑफ द इजीएस्ट फॉर मी बिकॉज़ ऑल द टीचर्स हु आर प्रेजेंट हियर सर इट्स मास्टर इन गेट फॉर कमिंग ऑनलाइन आई थिंक एवरीवन मेड अ ग्रेट एवरीवन डिड अ ग्रेट जॉब um if i have to take uh, number one and number two in terms of the people who have used the uh, filler words or uh, mostly so without you know and now without going to and now taking the number of hours uh, and on their use but i will say the number one is postmaster raghav i think uh, i can safely say that you know everyone combined you know the number of hours that you have used in your you know first speech and your second speech i think uh, you know none of us speakers are i mean just take it to both of you i'm not saying the uh, exact number followed by nabya who was evaluating see exactly about on a half well she was you know using uh, mostly the word a uh, uh, many times uh, in her speech and apart from that there were you know uh, or new people like me you know who are learning and i think that you know i'll give them a benefit uh, of being somebody who is learning as me as well so i think if they were pretty much very good in terms of uh, compared to the speech uh, that they have delivered so i think uh, raghav and navya uh, you need to work on it bit of on your own Maybe they want to get paid more. Maybe, maybe because you know you can say that you know at least he came first. <laughs> I mean, he, he was first. He was not last. So you take it in a positive sense. Thank you, thank you. I think that's it. Thank you, thank you. It's time to check whether we are disciplined or not. Please welcome our parliamentarian to first stand up on the stage. while the speaker was speaking there was some cross talk so it, this that should not happen and few people came without an applause and i would like to congratulate the more who's not there he he came he entered and exited during applause and that's it from <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
then to check our listening skills uh, to professor sashi have you brought some goodies or not <laughs> <laughs> so we need to clap so first of all i would like to apologize for not bringing goodies today i will be giving goodies in the next meeting maybe <laughs> so we all painted the town red with the energies of humor life lessons and philosophies that were the part of the speeches today i have few questions for the members right now i'll be giving the questions and i expect all of you to participate what all animals did pm anmol mention about in his story as a joke mark lion monkey bird lion all three
joins the state, enters the state, different energy also. Totally different energy. I do not have any recommendations, just recommendations, recommendations, recommendations. I could not find anything. He was throughout the state, he was following the fair with that state. I loved his uh, presence of mind. When he used, when he forgot something, then he uh, mentioned something else. So that was a sign of intelligence because that he presented very well and uh, a smooth transition. I could not find any kind of gap between the segment. You see what we experience. There is one segment and the other energy changes. But same energy throughout the meeting. Great job. Moving on to our auxiliary role player, uh, Taima Toastmaster Raghav, he introduced the his role very well. I believe if he could have incorporated him also, a bit better. Otherwise, job well done. Report covered all the integral aspects. Moving on to the next role player, language evaluator Toastmaster Praveen, covered, uh, presented his uh, role introduction part and report. Job well done. Small piece of advice, background now. We need to work on the same. We need to choose the place where at least when we are presenting our report, when we are performing our role, some silence is there. Because these things actually uh, break the momentum. Our next role player, Kusmaster Rajiv, he was debuting in that role. Job well done. He presented his introduction part that we were in different side. And uh, just small piece of advice for him is that if he could have elaborated more on the pillar things, that what are these pillars? We know that these are pillar words, but when we know that these are the pillar words, then we become alert. In the report portion, I love his different style of presentation. That these are the two contenders that who were competing, but there are other role players also. <laughs> if I have some knowledge. That is, this is my pillar word. Maybe I am using some I, some repetition, so anything would be. So, this report would have been of more utility for all of us. Otherwise, great experiment, job well done. Joke master, joke master, as usual, was very confident. I believe that he, uh, humor is uh, incorporated in his personality. Whenever we be on a stage, humor is throughout personal story. Just advises we have time limitation, so we need to know that uh, where we need to stop. And so, at some point, I felt that job was about to end, then we started again. <laughs> so, we need to be careful about these things also. Parliamentarian was must have turned out. I love his courage that he take a role, come on the stage, just a little bit, piece of preparation is needed. My suggestion is for him is to carry notes, prepare a proper introduction, proper report. He could have presented that thing from that report. And we need to spend more and more time on the stage. Improvement will happen only when we spend time here. Next role player, uh, listener, Krishna Sakshi, job well done. I love her introduction part. Her face was apt, her body language was quite good, her hands were open, good use of the stage, he utilized this portion, only not that portion, that's not possible in just two minutes of time. And even in report portion, even in this uh, uh, listening segment, everything was bang on, so no recommendations for her. Moving on to our table topic master, table topic master, was master Deepak. Explained the structure very well. He didn't waste time. That's why there were six speakers. Uh, afterwards, I love that he asked for questions because it's, we presume that if everything is clear. But as a host, we need to ask when, if any doubt is there because guests are joining our meeting first time. So I love this thing. And topics were very good. I especially love when guests were there, he presented easy topics. That were not complicated ones. Just advice for him is that uh, topic is for everyone. <laughs> this should have been given same time to the speaker and to the audience. 
there should not be any personal stuff that first delivery and then afterwards he will present it next moving on to our table topic speaker so our first speaker was of master kanav and uh, as usual as i already covered this thing he need to i uh, spend more and more time on the stage uh, uh, he raised his hand love the courage just little bit of preparation is needed next is uh, table topic master of master raghav uh, he instantly picked up the thing loved it and i felt that he knew everything about the topic Four tips. <laughs> How much he has? Four tips. In table topic segment, we struggled to find one. He had four. Next speaker was Usma Sir Rudra. Uh, again, he also picked up a thing. I loved the content that he presented. Just a couple of advices from that. At one point of time, those advices. We don't need to show our back to the audience. It seems that we are shying away from the audience. Be there, face it. Otherwise, job well done. Next role player was guest Riday. He also picked up the thing instantly, and he presented the thing quite well. Just advice is that use more time on the stage, you will improve. Next uh, speaker was guest Anshul. Loved her speech. Though voice was not going through very easily, still she picked up a topic and presented two kinds of things to you. First is a practical perspective of the thing, and the second is philosophical side. In this two minutes or two to two, one to two minutes time, it's not easy just to take out these perspectives. Great job, well done, no solutions for her. Next, our last speaker was the uh, guest Dhanshu. Uh, the topic was worst movie, so he didn't mention about the worst movie, but he mentioned about the content. If he could have mentioned about the what was that movie and why, could be could have been more relatable. Work. Moving on to our evaluators, our all CA evaluators followed the CRC approach. Just couple of specific advices for them. So, Mr. Arun was he started, I believe, recommendation just before one minute. We need to spend some more time on the recommendation rather than addressing you. He should have used word he. Evaluation is for everyone. And uh, we don't need to talk about what was said in his speech. Everyone has listened. We need to talk about what is our take on this. How we take this thing. Whether there was omission was there, transitions was there, movement was there. We need to be a specific kind of thing. So, Mr. Navya, uh, I believe that in the introduction part, when she was introducing the speech objective, a little bit of less confidence was there. So, we need to be more confident when we are presenting the thing. Uh, next thing, next advice is for that. Same advice, we need to talk more about these. And no need to say that I am going to talk about commendation. Just start commendation. We should avoid using word but. When you use this word, it removes a bit. Whatsoever has been said. But it means whatsoever has been said, that was of no use. Actual story starts here. So and one more thing that uh, it was also said that purpose not achieved. Yes, it's not it's a bit of hard purpose not. Maybe purpose was not fully fulfilled, was partially fulfilled, and could have said about what was the purpose. This was a purpose. I am saying this thing because this gap. That's the not. Next is the Toshmas Darshan. Seasoned Toshmaster, seasoned evaluator. He covered everything, and but. A small piece of advice is for him. Rather than talking about the speech content, need to be, be more specific. That's why he overshooted the time. Otherwise, if all the points were well taken. Great job. Uh, my last point is this: not related to many persons. This white hole doesn't look very nice. <laughs> and if something was written, it would have been much better for me and also for the guests in general. I believe I have covered everything. Anything is left? No. No. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. The report of every single actor meeting is best. Also, the best G experience in the recent time. So, uh, I will now move to the monthly award section. Should be hosted by the president. But let me give you some symbolic levels of how monthly awards are interpreted. 
will get recognition because of a personality. But there are certain things how to handle this. The way sometimes we take these things on our mind may deteriorate our future. So let's take inspiration, let's take some learning in case we learn. Learn Muslim means the opposite of <laughs> opposite of opposite of winning is not losing, opposite of winning is learning. So let's learn from this monthly segment, monthly award section. If you win, great, motivated, go for the next one. If you do not win, learn. Let's get that great impetus in the next segment. With all that being said, thank you so much. I have to end the session right here. On the stage, I invite. Coming to the monthly awards today, I am going to announce the monthly award for the month of July. Now to the category. The first category that we have for the monthly award is the screamer of the month. This award is given to a member with the most active participation and contribution towards, contribution towards the public relations, the PR of our class. The next award segment is the award of Congrats. This is given to a new member on the basis of their regularity, of their attendance to every meeting of TV. The next award category is the nurture of the month. The nurture of the month, as you can guess, is the member is given to the member on the basis of them taking their role. How regularly do they take their role and how well do they take their roles whenever they perform. The birding nurture is the same as the nurture of the month, but the birding nurture is given to a new member. The last two awards that we have, the last two segments, are the out of the box nurture. This Award is given to a member on the basis of how innovative or how creative are they when they come up and do their role. Last but not least is the member of the month award. This award is given on the basis of accumulated all the points from the above mentioned award. Now, the stream of the month. Does anyone have any idea? Or any guesses? Who is the stream of the month? Any <laughs> wrong? Related to the PR activity, any person who you saw was the most active in the PR activity. In PR activity. It was our secretary, Toastmaster Anmol. We have a YouTube video. Let's swing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Master Anmol is not here, so we won't be clicking the picture. We, we'll be clicking the picture with the physical guest. Okay. Yes. So, the comrade, comrade of the month, the particular member who got the award for the most regularity and attending the most number of CDCM Who do you think it was? Me. <laughs> <laughs> It was Toastmaster Raghav too. Can we have it? <laughs> the nurture of the month, the particular member who took the most role, yet, even after taking so many roles, being so regular, <coughs> Toastmaster is not here. It is distinguished Toastmaster Sabri Grisha. The birding nurture of the month is a new member who, just like nurture of the month, took up roles and was regular in them. Again, it is a she and she is not present here with us. Yes, indeed, it was Toastmaster Anandka. Who was the out of the box nurturer of the month? For the month of July, who did you see the most creative on stage? Month. The most innovative. It is he, and he also is not present here today. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think that was? And you started the meeting. No, it was not those master. It was.
Award Toastmaster Arvind. Last but not the least, the member of the month. Hint, he is present over here. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the members who did get on the award above me. <laughs> this compensates for all the arms and arms. <laughs> Coming now to the meeting, I would now like the tech master to launch the poll for the best roadster on the virtual stage. I would also request everyone on the physical stage to cast the ballot and vote for the best roast here. Was it our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster of the day? Was it our general evaluator, Toastmaster of the Or was it a table topic master, Toastmaster Deepak? Thank you. While the votes are being cast, let us now focus upon the best speaker for the day. Who do you think was the best speaker? Was it Toastmaster Abhir, Toastmaster Akam, or Toastmaster Pawan? Wow, I guess you can see the answers. It was indeed Toastmaster Abhir. Toastmaster Abhir, thank you for your who do you think was the best evaluator? Was it Toastmaster Alun, Toastmaster Navya, or Toastmaster Darshan on the world speech? Toastmaster Navya. Toastmaster Yes, it was Toastmaster Alun. But I gave my vote to you. Who do you think was, this is a pretty obvious one by the way, best auxiliary role player. It was Joe Pong. Yes, uh, where did you laugh most? When he was... Pretty demonstrative, pretty demonstrative. It was indeed Toastmaster Unbold. Here we have his birthday gift. Who was the best table topic speaker? Was it Toastmaster Sada, Toastmaster Saga, Toastmaster Rudra, Guest Shade, Guest Anshu, or Guest Sudanshu? Anshu, Anshu, Guest Anshu. Hello. It was the speaker who gave us diet tips. It was the speaker who told us how to control our diet and oh. let it go. <laughs> That's a hard trick for you, sir. Wonder Trump. He was the winning team today. Yes. He's got shakal together. Last but not the least, who was the best roast player? Was it Toast Master today? Toast Master. Any evaluator? Or was it our team topic master? It was very tough, but it was Toast Master today. I now request guests on the virtual stage and on the physical stage to stay to the end for the guest meeting. With this, I now conclude the meeting. Let us have a group picture by calling upon everyone on the virtual stage.
हेलो अंशुम वैभव एंड सुधांशु प्लीज टर्न ऑन योर वीडियो कैमरा हाय सो हाउ वाज द मीटिंग uh that was very great chimki the kind of discussion we had gone through and the briefing and uh, the points where we need to emphasize more in order to improve our speaking and uh, describe communications everything so this actually helps for new as well as the older people as well. so that was very uh, helping uh, thing hello everyone so jealous i am right now. it's all about the uh, beautiful gas or or you know the gas with a lot of energy so you spoke very well thank you so much and you got the award also that certificate also oh it's so nice yeah. yeah so it, thank you first of all uh, uh, this is all about a toastmaster meeting it it, it uh, generally it has uh, it it has three sections like like uh, we have seen the prepared speeches and then uh, uh, the table topics where everybody is uh, you know they are interested to yeah part. and third one is that uh, uh, your evaluation which is very important definitely and the most thing i have learned and you you might have uh, also observed this, this that there is nothing wrong in anything here you are yeah in, no one judge this is the best nobody is going to judge you you are you, are, you know uh, i i was very close person before joining this but now i i i realize this that you are generous enough to take feedbacks you will improve sure for sure so there is nothing wrong about you you are quite fine and you are improving and uh, this this is all about this place this is, even i i joined in may and i gave ice breaker now it's my second speech i took humor part <laughs> so i i invite all of you <laughs> even sudanshu you will also join so sorry where where to join like in my club the mm-hmm. tivo talksters mm-hmm. but i really want this hybrid i want to come and like it is feeling like great connection in hybrid even before you start meeting there is lot of connection and we have a, a physical gas here so you can you know uh, listen it, it from da- direct horse's mouth how it feels like to be in uh, the physical meeting so what is hey, hi experience it's a great like a uh, you know basically i'm an introvert like uh, then the doctor went in lockdown so i didn't uh, contact much people so in this like uh, i can contact many of us like uh, so sure and uh, they are many people who are generous and uh, they are kind so they help us in uh, like growing us and uh, help us uh, be like uh, outro what we can say yeah even what i like about like even general evaluator giving to table topics evaluation also that is also great That that, 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 that one of toastmasters it provides you feedback for every role you do here for your overall you know behavior or or, or say uh, whatever your conduct is so it's from uh, tip to toe you will be evaluated not judged and that is the difference judge has a negative connotation and evaluation has a positive connotation so that's what i love about this place 
so happy to join toast father like as soon definitely i will be there like i like today i feel like why i am feeling so jealous and happy at same time but i am like to be very honest i am feeling lot of jealousy mm -hmm. well, it, change is you know it's a continuous process it will happen and this is the place where you will get a lot of things because it it's it's what you do or what you uh, means uh, if you keep on thinking something if you delaying if you keep on delaying if you get into bad habits doing it uh, you know it's it's about habit so it's we we are going to break this vicious cycle and we are going to change our thought our thought process and that's it so i have seen this myself also i have been uh, here for only 3 months and i am uh, you know it's it's from within that it's coming out and uh, apart from these regular club meetings we also have an opportunity once you join in here you have, have an opportunity to go to other other clubs also you can go so like i am toastmaster already so dhanshu is new is it yes i am new toastmaster already so uh, once you are in you you will be always be a toastmaster so you are ready uh, you are free to join any club or even if you join this club online uh, there are so many members who live outside delhi uh, her this uh, her toastmaster uh, rashmi sikri is here she she attended it uh, she is a member for last you know one and a half year and she joins uh, this meeting every time she was not present uh, here today she joins every time from karnal and uh, Two, two months back, for the first time, she attended it physically because she went. Uh, she came here to, uh, you know, um, to some of her relative. So it, it was it was a great honor for all of us to welcome her because you know Tare is even like like a thing happened at that time. So we we believe in expressing ourselves fully. If we could do that, our purpose is solved. so we are here to make a lot of friends we are here to make a network like minded people or people with the, the similar professions also once a dtm told me that toastmaster is this about communication this about english and this about networking yes it's just like great place to network be a profession or your uh, your you know aspirations or your your you know hobbies you will it's it's like a platter it's like a buffet you can choose pick and choose then apart from that i'll i'll be sharing you the uh, uh, international speech contest uh, videos Please. which happened yeah so it was uh, i i haven't seen it uh, myself itself but uh, you know i'll be sharing it i'll be seeing it and uh, watching it so yeah, that would be great really so uh, that's it from uh, uh, from my side and uh, on uh, the part of you know uh, if you want to join you just let me know then uh, i'll be talking about or shall i talk about the fee structure so i was aware you, like like can i drop off you can talk with sudanshu yeah okay, it's a really great meeting with you So Dan should do join. <laughs> It's ah, like worst it ever. <laughs> Good back. Thank. Have okay. a great day, all of you. Thank you. So we, you will be coming to Delhi now? <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't want to come. I will call you. Yeah, I will. Bye. Bye. Uh.